All right, guys, here we are with the Raider Mage, designed and manufactured by Hugo Vapor. Let's take a look at it. All right, here we go. We got the Raider Mage, designed and manufactured by Hugo Vapor. I'll be honest, I don't know too much about Hugo Vapor. I went on their website, tried to find some information on this mod. There didn't seem to be too much available for it. I also searched around on the internet, and I didn't really find this mod in too many places. I don't know if this just started getting sold, or if it's just not a very well-known mod. If you guys know more information about it, shoot some comments down below and let me know. Have you heard about this mod? Do you know Know much about this company can you enlighten me a little bit on it so we have a shrink wrap plastic around it it's like pretty i guess well sealed like they certainly don't want that top coming off on you but it wasn't totally sealed like my bottom was already partially open so let's go ahead and tear this open get right inside of it you can see that's so much better now without the plastic. Here we go, we've got the Raider Mage, Mod Killer Material Killer. It says www.hugovapor.com here on the bottom. Not intended for use under the age of 21. For authenticity on the bottom here. And inside it says it contains one Raider Mage, one user manual, one warning hint, one battery warning ward i don't know what a warning ward is one usb charger and it says firmware upgrade raider mage designed and manufactured by hugo vapors upc on the side and on the bottom it says hugo vapor technology company there is their info on the bottom their telephone it's interesting here on the bottom that it says not under 18 but on the top it says not under 21 so i guess if you take the lid off you can use it early and on the top we have a raider symbol let's take this off and see what we have on the inside that already looks really nice. Oh, that feels nice too. All right, let's dump out the materials. Let's take a look at our paperwork. We have a pretty large manual, English, Danish, German, Russian. It has a lot. Best thing to do with these manuals is read them while you're on the toilet. Here's the English if you guys want to take a look at it. More information on the back. I'm going to save this next time I poop little warranty card here your purchase information on the back warranty coverage and i'll try to get this focused so you guys can pause this and read this if you so choose i'm gonna save it for when i poop morning you'll get that often with me hugo vapor and it gives some information about batteries and our usb charging cable feels like a very nice braided cable this looks like a to me it would say like okay we went with a quality cable, not one of the cheap rubber ones. And we went with a cable that's so short, you can't do anything with it. And this is the size of the cable, in case you ever wanna go anywhere that's not directly next to your laptop. So we'll go ahead and save this for later. All right, let's take a look at this mod. And this one is the Manga. What's interesting is when I went online to look at the designs, they're actually not all the same. So the Manga one that I got is still a uniquely designed manga one that does not look the exact same as the other ones. Design on the back, some more design around there, more design. I almost feel like it's upside down. If I wanted to go like that, I feel like this would be like the right side up for it, even though it's upside down. Here is the front, nice clicky fire button. Nice and clicky wattage control buttons. And these buttons are firm. They There is no wiggle. I mean, I gotta really push to see if I want to say there's wiggle. There's obviously buttons will move, but this is not wiggle. This, this is a solid button. This is a very solid button. And it feels, it doesn't feel like plastic. It feels like vinyl. It's a very good feeling in the hand. Has their logo on the side engraved in here. It says Raider. The other side is smooth. And it feels really good in the hand. It's solid. Doesn't feel too big, doesn't feel too small. Let's pull off the battery compartment. So you've got four magnets and you got four more magnets there. This takes dual 18650 batteries. They are not included. Also no tank was included. Feels pretty smooth, not a lot of dust or anything in there and that's nice and solid. Battery plate feels pretty good and it definitely holds in place good i mean this is not this battery compartment this is not gonna accidentally come off this takes a lot if you want to really like if you wanted to pull it straight out like it's got some hold to it so like to take this off you're you're gonna have to go from one edge and you can feel like you if you try to go off the edge it actually catches 
a bit on the side. So you have to come from the other side. If you come straight off, it comes off the smoothest. However, you feel the pull of all four magnets. If we try to take it off from one edge, it actually catches the lip. It makes it hard to get off. So th this door is not coming off on accident. You're not gonna accidentally lose the back of this. This, had, this is hard to get off, but it's not, it's hard to accidentally come off. All right, let's get some batteries in it and see what it looks like. Just grab some batteries, let's pop it in and see what it does. All right, as soon as we put it in, it lights up. This is a very nice screen. It obviously doesn't have that flicker. That just has to do with the refresh rate of my camera. It shows battery A, battery B has a clock on it, as well as it shows our wattage mode. Check atomizer. If I push this without the atomizer, it says check atomizer. We are in wattage control. This goes up to 218 and it does round robin back to one. Goes up by one tenth. One, two, three, four, five. Shuts it off. Doesn't do anything if we one, two, three, four, five. Turns it back on. Raider Mage. One, two, three. Power goes into temperature control. Titanium. Stainless steel. Bypass. Back into power mode. One click to enter it. Two clicks will take us into our hit. Normal. Power. Soft. Positive and fire button. Puts us into the menu. We have time set. Brightness. Puff counter. Stealth. TCR set. Default and exit. I want to change my time. It has off number pointer. And then long fire to go back to the menu. We have brightness. Our brightness is all the way up and I like it. Puff counter. We can exit it or reset stealth mode stealth on or off tcr set long fire to get out go back to default default yes or no and exit i did notice my button just got stuck there for a moment but it immediately popped back out let's go ahead and put a tank on this the tank i am going to use is the cascade baby tank from vapresso let's screw it on here the coil inside of it is a mesh coil and it is a 0.18 coil if we hit the fire button Ask us if it is a new coil. Positive for yes, it is a new coil. Reads at 20 amps, 0.17 ohms. I have this at 65 watts. Let's take a hit on it. Well, it works. I mean, it's a mod. I've already reviewed the tank. If the video is not up yet, stand by. seems to heat up pretty fast. It shows the batteries as being uneven, even though when I checked them earlier, the batteries were both the same. Uh, so I'm not really sure why that's a thing. I have a mesh coil. Wow, this can't even keep up, lol. So I have my mesh coil in here and it seems to heat up really fast. This is set to normal right now. That's pretty nice right there. Let's change our ramp up. Two clicks takes us into Power Plus. We are now on Power Plus. I don't like Power Plus. That heats way too fast and gives me a, a poor flavor. And this time we'll go to Soft. I definitely felt a much longer heat up time on that compared to normal. And I liked it. I liked the Soft and normal much more than power plus i feel like with the mesh coil i'm going to prefer a soft hit all right we ripped it a couple of times this is my first initial impressions i'm gonna let the vape clear out of the room i'm gonna use this for a few days and let you guys know what i think about it make sure you guys follow me on instagram and facebook so you guys can stay up to date in real time on how i like this mod a little longer than a few minutes later all right i've been using the raider mage for about a week i like it i gotta say it feels pretty good in the hand my previous mod was the predator 228 so this is kind of what i was used to using and then now i'm getting used to something like this so it's, it's a little bit bigger but i like it the buttons are nice and clicky which i like do have to make sure i point out uh, when we first unboxed and looked at it, I mentioned that the, the button did stick once. And I did notice in the last week there's been at least a few occasions where I either was taking a hit or I was doing something to click the button and the button got stuck. And it caused it to continue firing until I was able to wiggle it out. Now it didn't take too much to wiggle it out. However, if it was in a scenario in which I was maybe moving it or somebody else had clicked the button and we didn't notice it, 
it would have kept going until the safety feature shut it off, which I know with some vapes it's around 10 seconds. With this one, I haven't gone in and looked at it. It's only been a few times. It hasn't necessarily been enough to make me go like, oh no, like this is a total turnoff, but it is enough that I feel like that's something very important on a mod. That's something that shouldn't be overlooked. So for the fact that that kind of keeps happening, I feel like that that's kind of an important design flaw that needs to be addressed. So fire button does stick. It's stuck a few times on me and it will stick and stay on. And it's not, doesn't stick to where like it's just a bad spring. It sticks to where the plastic is actually stuck and it has to be moved out of position or it will stay firing. Another thing that I've noticed, it doesn't matter what battery I use, or how I put the batteries in. If I take two batteries that are 100% charged and I put them into the mod, battery B will always read slightly lower than battery A. I swap the batteries around. I even noticed when I used them and I, I got like a full day of use out of it, battery A was at 50%. Battery B was basically right down to the bottom line. When I took the batteries out, put them onto my charger, it said both batteries were at 58%. So why battery B is always reading lower than battery A? And it doesn't matter, I have three different batteries that I use. Doesn't matter what battery or how I put them in, battery B was always reading lower. Few of the forums that I went on, I did find one other person experiencing the same thing as me however i talked to about two or three other people who were like nope don't know what you're talking about they sent me pictures theirs were both 100 i've never seen both batteries 100 on my mod all three of my batteries no matter how i put them in no matter how i put them on the charger so battery b has never read as full for me and it is always read lower than what battery a is at no matter how i put them in and then like i said i take them out put them on my charger they read exactly the same percentage but on here it was a probably 20 25 percent difference another con a lot of people were complaining this on the group See this white here and this white here? That's actually, you can't see the green because of my green screen, but those whites that are missing there are actually, it just didn't print the logo onto it. Now these look like they're dipped. I don't, I think it's called screen printing or something like that. I've noticed that all of these mods, although it's similar design, so this is the manga, it's similar. However, it's still different from somebody else who has manga, which I think is pretty neat, you know, so you'll never have the exact same two mods. However, when they do that, because of how they engrave, there are some areas that end up missing some of the picture. To me it's not a major turnoff because I think that it's so unique that to me it can't be a turnoff it's it's unique nobody else will have this mod nobody else will have this exact printed mod they'll have something similar but they will not have this exact printed mod and this one is mine so I guess I'm okay with that but if you're somebody who wants a perfect picture you're not gonna have it I saw a lot of people who complained about the same thing and they seem to all be on the back plate or on the engraved logo on the side or in both cases mine is really just on the back plate and like maybe a little dot on the side you know it wasn't a major turnoff for me but some people and a lot of people in forums actually were complaining that they did not like that the pros though it feels great feels good in the hand got nice clicky buttons I'm happy with how they click there is no button wiggle at all the screen is super bright fits my tanks just fine fit you know it, it's not flush to the edge there's some workroom so you can use some larger tanks on here when I use my dead rabbit RDA and I put it into power plus mode it hit like a truck and it was great this hits so much better than my predator and speaking of the difference with my predator because the predator has like a metal to it this spreads heat like a son of a gun when i would build on it this would get hot this really didn't get hot at all even building on it even really pushing it and stuff like that really doesn't spread heat across the mod so it was nice because it wouldn't get too hot in my hand or anything like that when i was trying to build or do anything so i thought that that was also something neat and there's plenty of vent holes on the side so i'm not afraid of it holding on to the heat it just doesn't it's not metal so it doesn't spread the heat like metal would so that was something that i like the texture feels good it's a nice size it feels good price wise online i have found this around 40 to 45 dollars even though bait box says uh it was 50 or 55 dollars i've been finding it mostly around the mid to low 40 dollars i feel like 40 to 45 dollars is a fair price for this mod you know it doesn't come with too many crazy bells and whistles or anything like that but for how you unique the design is for how it feels in the hand it doesn't feel cheap to me I, I feel like it feels like a good mod if you're $45 I think that's a fair mod and it's got a lot of the stuff that all the main mods have such as temperature control variable wattage stuff like that to me I'm pretty happy with it I'll probably continue to use this until I get another mod in another bait box any of you guys have the Raider Mage tell me what you guys think what designs did you end up getting do you like it do you not like it what prices have you found for it. All right, guys, 
I wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think of my review on the Raider Mage. Let me know if you've seen any of my bait box unboxings and let me know what you think about that stuff. Let me know what stuff you might be interested in. Maybe we can do other videos if those are things that you, if, if there's something else you're interested in. And if you don't like me, just, you know, I guess don't let me know that you don't like me. That would hurt my feelings. So just give me a thumbs up and then never come back again. That would hurt my feelings. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Find my Facebook group and let's just vape and hang out together. See you guys later.